In this channel, we try to review all different chapters of primary school math. Okay, we continue the section of decimal. Uh, 3 plus 3 over 10 is equal as 3.5 3. 3 is the whole number. 310 is equal as 0 0.3. So 3 and 0 0.3 which is 3.3. 2 plus 15 over 100. Show it in as a decimal. It be 2.15. So 2 is a whole number, 15 over 100 shows as 0 0.15, which is this. 2 over 10 plus 3 over 100. 2 over 10, which is 0 0.2. 3 over 100, which is... 0 0.03 so the answer is 0 0.23 the adding of decimal I'm gonna explain it uh, in another session so I'm not focusing on this at this part so just to show the answer is 2 over 10 is this 3 over 100 is this so the answer is 0 0.23 5 plus 2 over 10 plus 6 over 100. The answer showing in form of decimal 5.26. Value of 5 as a whole number. 2 over 10 means group tenths. So 2 is in group tenths. 6 over 100 is in group hundredths. So 5.26. 3 plus 110 plus 8 over 100 showing is the form of decimal. It's gonna be 3 point again whole 3 is a whole number. 1 over 10 is a group of tenths and 8 over 100, which is in place of group of hundredths. So 3.18. 2.34 times 10. These are decimal times or divided by 10 or 100 or 1000. Uh, we have done this uh, previously, uh, but we just continue with this. As I said, times 10, it moves the decimal to the right. Times. Dividing, move the decimal to the left. So 2.34 times 10, it's going to be 23.4. So move the decimal to the right one digit because we have one zero. 5 5.067 times 100. It's times. So it means that move decimal to the right. How many zero do we have? Two. So... The decimal moves two digit, so five zero six seven two digit one two. So the decimal will be here. Two point three four divided by ten. It's divided. It's division. So the decimal moves to the left. There is one zero, so decimal moves one digit. So the answer is 0 0.234. So in all of this, the point of attention is the decimal. It's the point. So based on that, we can find the answer easily. 5 this divided by 100. So again, because it's division, decimal moves to the left. We have two zeros, so moves two digits. So it's going to be 0 0.234.
point zero five zero six seven why because decimal moves to the left we have two zero here decimal moves two digit one digit is here another one we have to put a zero 6.59 times 100 it's times multiplication so decimal moves to the right side we have two zeros here so decimal moves two digit six five nine so decimal will be here as you know we don't put the decimal and we just write 659 and again this divided by thousand its division so the decimal moves to the left how many digit three because we have three zero so five six five nine i put the whole number i have to how many zero i have to put in it's three it moves back one and two zero 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 the zero so the answer is 0 0.00659. Again, it's because it's division, decimal moves to the left. Because there is three zeros here, decimal has to move three digits to the left. So I write it here, 659. Three digit it was here so one here two three yeah so it was here three zeros three digit move to the left one two three this decimal moves to here so at the end, we have 0 0.00659. Okay, write this in decimal form. 2 meter and 48 centimeter. We want to write in meter. 48 centimeter. Centimeter. 1 meter is 100 centimeter. So 48 centimeter is equal as 48 over 100 meter or 0 0.48 so 2 meter and 48 centimeter 2.48 meter 7 meter and 6 centimeter 7 meter which is the whole num number because you, we write the answer in the unit of meter. Six centimeter, six centimeter is six over hundred meter. So is zero point zero six. We have to be careful. If we write it zero point six, so it means six over ten. Or 60 over 100 60 over 100 6 over 100 so be careful don't do this mistake 6 centimeter changing to meter is 6 divided by 100 so 6 over 100 write as 0 0.06 so the answer is 7.06 meter okay. 6 liter and 27 milliliter. Okay, 6 is the whole number. The unit we are changing to liter. 27 milliliter. We know that 1 liter equal 1000 milliliter. 1 liter, 1000 milliliter. So 27 milliliter is 27 over thousand I write this as 
0 0.027 30 decimal is here if it was 27 over 100 we could write this 0 0.27 but it's 27 over 1000 so we have to write it as this so 6 0 2 7 liter okay 3 kilogram and 3 gram change it to kilogram so 3 the whole number 3 gram 1 kilo is 1000 gram so 3 gram changing to kilo is 3 over 1000 which is Pay attention to this. This is equal as this. 3 over 1000 equal as this. Because 1, how many, did, how, many deci, how many decimal do we have here? 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Don't get confused uh, by doing the wrong thing such as 0 0.3 or 0 0.03. These are totally different with this. We have 3 over 1000. 3 over 1000 equal 0 0.003. 3 over 100 equal 0 0.03. 3 over 10 equal 0 0.3. The number of zeros is equal the number of decimal. We have a one decimal here, one zero. We have two decimal here, two zeros. We have three decimal here, three zeros. So three gram is 0 0.003 kilogram. So the whole number is that one, three gram is 0 0.003 kilogram. Five kilometer and 15 meter 5 is the whole number no problem with it dot 15 meter change it to kilometer 1 kilometer is 1000 meter 15 meter changing to kilometer is 15 over 1000 which is 0 0.015 right if it was 15 over 100 it will be 0 0.15 but it's 15 over 1000 because one kilometer is 1000 meter so the answer is 0 0.015 okay the, f the whole number is there and 15 meter is 0 one five kilometer okay six kilogram and 285 gram six is the whole number no problem 285 gram one kilo equal 1000 gram so 285 gram change into kilo is 285 divided by 1000 so it's 0 0.285 so i write it here 0 0.285 kilogram okay 8 kilogram and 18 gram 8 is the whole number decimal 18 gram 1 kilogram equal 1000 gram 18 gram change into kilogram is 18 divided by 1000 18 over 1000 is as this three zeros three decimal so 8.018 the zero change to 8 because 8 is the whole number 8 kilogram and for 18 gram is 0 0.18 285 
together is 8.018 kilogram. 9 centimeter and 9 millimeter change to centimeter. 9 centimeter is the whole number. 9 millimeter. Millimeter change to centimeter. 1 centimeter 10 millimeter. So changing millimeter to centimeter 9 over 10 equal 0 0.9 so 9.9 .9 centimeter and 5 centimeter and 2 millimeter is also is a centimeter so 5 is the whole number again 2 millimeter same as this 2 millimeter 1 centimeter 10 millimeter millimeter change to centimeter 2 divided by 10 which is 0 0.2 so 5.2 centimeter okay round to, to the nearest tenth we have learned about rounding to uh, in next in previous uh, sessions so just a review round to the nearest tenth we look at the group of ten which is eight group of tenth is eight so the digit after it is five five is round to because it's five or more round up so this round to six point nine it round up so one added to the eight so it's six point nine two point nine seven round to the nearest tenth group of tenth is this we look at the digit right beside it it's followed by seven seven round up because it's five or more so one added to this so 2.9 will change to 3 or 3.0 2.97 round to nearest tenth the group of tenth is 9 it's followed by 7 7 round up so 1 is added to 9 so 2.9 will change to 3 14.44 round to nearest tenth we look at the group of tenth which is four four is followed by four four is less than five so it will round down so it round to 14.4 and 0 0.26 group of tenth is two followed by six which is in group of five or more so it will round up so one add to this is 0 0.3 and around to the nearest hundred hundreds okay find the group of hundreds group of tens hundreds it's five followed by two two round down so this number round to 3.45 2.008 nearest hundreds group tens hundreds followed by eight so it's round up so it's 2.01 one is added to zero 0 0.095 to the nearest hundreds group tenths hundreds is followed by five five or more round up so it one added to this nine is gonna be 10 or 0 0.1 both are correct and the last one 7.397 find the group of hundreds which is 9 followed by 7 so it will round up so 1 added to this so it's 7.39 will change to 40 or 7.4 so this is how we round
uh, decimals. If you are struggling with math, consider subscribing as we have different videos for different math topics.